Hello, welcome to another tutorial with One Stop Academy. It's Alison. On today's tutorial, we will be discussing one of the most popular word processing applications, the Microsoft Word. Um, Microsoft Word is part of the Microsoft Office Suite. It's a collection of applications for um, different purposes. So, Microsoft Word on its own is a word processing application and as an application it provides a graphical user interface with different functionalities um, a little bit higher than a, a normal text editor but it does more than a text editor actually and it allows you to create, edit, format, store and print documents amongst other functionalities it's also um, it, it has a very good advantage of providing a very conducive interface it's usually referred to as what you see is what you get so whatever, whatever you you give to the word processor is what you it gives back to you so it, it, you could easily make changes and um, edit your documents on the screen right now is a screen layout of the Microsoft Word 2013 version. Um, in a previous tutorial, we discussed that applications come in versions. Developers make improvements over already existing versions and then incorporate those improvements into a newer version. So for this tutorial, we're using the 2013 version of the Microsoft Word application. Um, we're going to be identifying different parts of the layout of the screen and um, or of the application window starting with the top starting from the top right here you're going to have to follow my mouse so you know we can all go together right here on the top left corner of the screen layout is the quick access toolbar just like its name quick access toolbar it gives access to um, tools which are used regularly like the save when you you're done with documents when you make changes to a document and you would like to um, register those changes in memory you use the save button and then the undo when you've you've um, carried out an action that you would like to retract when you use the undo button and the redo button and and some other tools on the quick access tool we would see some of those tools when we go, go move into the tutorial proper just beneath the or beside the quick access toolbar is the title bar for our this document right here the title is still a default title because we haven't done anything on the document and we haven't saved the document with a choice, the document name of our choice. So it's given, the computer has assigned it an automatic title which is document 1. And um, the title of the document, if changed, would still appear on this piece, the title bar. Next to the title bar is or are some buttons like the help button the button with the um, question mark icon is the help button um, and then we also have the minimize button you know what it does you know it minimizes the window and then we also have the um, maximize button or the restore down button and then the close button we went through all these buttons when we are describing the Microsoft Windows operating system. Sorry. Immediately beneath the quick access toolbar, the title bar, and um, the close, minimize, and maximize tools or buttons is the ribbon. Um, you can see the, the rectangular division from here. You see my mouse down here is the ribbon. Everything beneath the quick access toolbar, title bar, and the close, minimize, and maximize button. Now, the ribbon contains some other components which include the tabs. Um, 
you can um, notice that I'm hovering over some um, items on the screen. You can see the file, home, insert, design, page layout, and so on. These are called the tabs. So the tabs are located on the ribbon. And then these tabs contain groups. Okay, so let's look at the home tab, for example. We are on the home tab right now. The home tab contains groups. So the groups under the home tab are the clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, editing. They are all the groups under the home tab. If we move to the insert tab, you can move to the tab by clicking on it. So if we move to the insert tab, the groups under the insert tab are the pages, tables, illustrations, apps, media, links, and so on and so forth. Likewise, the design tab, page layout tab, and the rest. Now, these tabs or these groups contain tools. So you see how the it moves. You see the hierarchy. The ribbon is made up of tabs, and the tabs made up of groups, and then these groups are made up of tools. So, um, looking at the insert tab where we are right now, um, under the illustrations group, we have tools such as the pictures tool. So, if you want to insert a picture from your computer to your document, you use the pictures tools and the online pictures, shapes, smart arts, charts, pictures, and so on. They are all tools under the illustrations group of the insert tab on the ribbon. Yeah. You would notice that all these tabs have been grouped according to functionality. Um, tools under these tabs perform similar functions for example if we go to the home tab the home tab contains pretty much the basic formatting like your font how you want your font to look like the size of your font the color of the font if you want to highlight the font by the way by font i mean whatever you're typing on your screen is in whatever style it is is a font so the insert tab has to do with anything that you need to introduce into your document. So if you need to introduce a table or a picture or an art of any form or a, 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 a days and time, for example, these are all you know, things that you can insert into your document. You can find them under the insert tab. So while you are doing your formatting, if you Find, find yourself in a situation where you, you don't know what tab to find what. Just look at what you need. And do you, do you want to insert something? If you want to insert a picture or an ad, you're likely to find the tool under the insert tab. If you are looking to maybe change um, your document to a landscape instead of a portrait orientation, you will likely find that under the page layout or the layout of the page. So, yeah, but um, as usual, just like every other thing, practice makes perfect. So, as you use the application, you will get um, familiar with the tabs. Yeah. yeah, and then there are other parts of the screen layout of um, a Word document. Um, some of them include a dialog box launcher now <laughs> um, we're on page layout tab now can you notice this the arrow at the corner right here that's called a dialog box launcher if you click on a dialog box it pops up uh, the contents of a particular group for example this is a page setup group when you click on the dialog box launcher for the page setup group, it brings out everything under the page setup groups, including um, tools that aren't here on the ribbon. When you launch the dialog box, you find all the tools on that particular group. That's basically what a dialog box launcher does. 
away from the top of the document down to the bottom here is the horizontal scroll bar if there is need for a horizontal scroll bar and um, right now looking at it there isn't any horizontal scroll bar but then if you zoom your document to a certain level and it's you know it widens your the space which you have then a uh, horizontal scroll bar is likely to pop up so let's see what i mean let's see this is zoomed at 100 percent right now so let's try to increase the zoom okay so notice that the horizontal scroll bar has appeared so you can move to see the parts of your document that um, doesn't fit into the size of your screen so we'll move this back to 100 percent yeah voila it's back to 100 percent you can see that the horizontal scroll bar has disappeared because there isn't any need for that all parts of the document in terms of width is visible so um we also have the vertical scroll bar which is right here the vertical scroll bar is almost always there because you need to move up and down unless it's a very short document even if it's a very short document you will still um, find your vertical scroll bar I write now um like I said earlier, I mentioned it um, without um, knowing it. This whole white space you're looking at that looks like a paper, a white paper, is called the document window. Yep. And then you can see um, something blinking right here, right here, I'm moving my mouse around it. That blinking thing there is called the cursor. And where the cursor is right now is called the insertion point so if I decide to move my cursor down using the enter key on my keyboard that wherever the cursor is is now the new insertion point it means from that point you can uh, introduce a character or a letter or a number into your document other parts of the window include the status bar the status bar is right here you can see it's telling the number of pages and on what page you are so right now our documents have only one page and then we are on the first page of that document so page one of one and then on the status bar you can see the word count that's one of the advantages of using the Microsoft Word application it does a word count so as you're typing in whatever you're typing in as you're editing your work it's doing a word count yeah, in case there is need for that it also um, tells if they are proofreading errors and in what language you are working we use the zoom slider when I was trying to illustrate the horizontal ruler or we use the zoom slider right here is the zoom slider and these are the view buttons the view buttons can change you know how our document window looks so this is the read mode let's see what the read mode looks like i've clicked on the read mode and i'm seeing something which doesn't look too good because you know we are it's just supposed to allow you read your documents for so makes you read, go through your documents you, you can do you know um, editing here Print layout um, shows you how your document will appear when you print. You actually run your document through the printer. It shows you how your document will appear. And then web layout if you happen to um, make your document a web document, it shows you how your document will look like. So you can open the view buttons. That brings us to the end of this part of the tutorial on using Microsoft Word application. Um, in our next video, we'll be using the tools that we've learned, we've seen on the ribbon today to do some editing. So we have an idea of how, what those tools do and, um, you know, try to manipulate, find our way around the Microsoft Word application. 
If you've gained in any way from our tutorials, from our videos, please do like and subscribe. See you.